Hello everybody and welcome to Spotlight Sports course on stress in sport. Today we will be introducing the course content and key points in this introductory module. So let's get into it. The course on stress in sport will be broken down into eight modules. We will go through each component of stress, starting with what it is that causes us to feel stress, then moving on to the different types of stress response we go through, how we respond to situations, and some of the most common sources of stress athletes can experience. All of this will connect to sport by using anecdotes, famous examples, and situational specific questions through the eyes of an athlete. This will help to reinforce the new information learnt and relate to sport-specific examples you might yourself have experienced. We will then finish off with a course summary, going full circle and coming back to the key points we will be aiming to take away from each module in the next slide. As we go through each module, we want to make sure there are clear key points to take away. We focus on three key areas, which are identify, be aware, and understand. And these will be kept as a red thread throughout the course. First, we will give key insights and content to differentiate between various types of stress and how those processes go on in the body. There are many different forms, so it is important to be aware during each module what the particular form of stress is and the process the body goes through when dealing with it. For example, are anxiety and arousal the same thing and do the same processes occur in an athlete when they experience them? Next, we aim to share with you how athletes can suffer from different forms of stress. It is important to understand that this can be through the different types of stress that they experience when they are suffering from this response, maybe for example before, during or after a match, or dependent on the environment. And finally, each athlete is unique and therefore they will show different symptoms of stress. We cannot assume a whole group of players might be suffering from the same thing and therefore a coach, parent or athletes themselves must be able to identify symptoms that explain what form of stress someone is going through. From this, we can then give some examples of techniques to then better their stress responses. If you have any questions or for more information on this course, contact us at spotlightsportspsychology.com.